Here's a cool front-end performance trick you might not have heard of, virtualized lists. Let's say we've got an autocomplete component, something like what we might see on Google, for example. If our search input returns a lot of results, we can use a virtualized list to display those results. What a virtualized list is in this scenario is that if the results contain a lot of items, rendering that many nodes in the UI will be very computationally expensive for our browser's memory. So this list virtualization or windowing is when we only render what's immediately visible to the user. Here, what we render at first is a small subset of the total number of elements in the entire list. Then as the user scrolls, the window of visible content moves with the viewport. The difficulty here lies in this. If we are constantly shifting the visible window, this means we need to delete old nodes as they go off screen and create new ones that come onto the screen, right? Sounds pretty computationally heavy, right? Right? There's a better way. We can recycle these nodes instead. So imagine that we're scrolling down on the screen. So the bottommost node is the one that's going off the screen. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to take that bottommost node and rather than deleting it, we're actually just going to move it all the way up to the top of the visible window areas node list. In addition, we can actually give the illusion that the UI contains as many results as the total list by creating fake off screen elements that add up to the height of the non-visible result elements, while really these fake off-screen elements will never actually enter into the visible window area. If this sounds complicated, it's okay. Usually with these sort of opinionated patterns, someone has already written a library for it. For example, if you're using React, you can use a library like React Window, and then it's basically just simple plug and play with your own data.